Hey, it's Kev from Blender Binge. In this video, we're going to be going over text in Blender. Ready? Let's go. Blender has some really interesting text tools that let you do some pretty cool stuff. Now, aside from creating a SVG file in Illustrator or, or Inkscape or any of these other programs and bringing it in and creating an object out of that, you can go in and create text directly in Blender. And to do that, you simply go to the Create tab, and you go to Text. And when you click Text, there you see it says Text. Now one of the frustrating things is when you go over here to this little text tool here, and you try to say, you know, I'm going to go change my text to whatever I want, like, it doesn't do it, okay? It doesn't work that way. So what you need to do is you need to go into Edit Mode. Okay, so you either go here and go edit, or you hit tab on the keyboard, okay? And once you're in there, you see this big block show up. That is your cursor. So if you hit backspace on the keyboard, right, I can just go type anything I want. All right, <laughs> I'm partial. Okay, and when you're done with that, you go out of edit mode back to object and there you have your text and now if you go over here okay, you can have just like every other curve you can extrude it you can add some depth to the bevel and you can change the resolution of the bevel All right. and there's some other more advanced features here that uh, I'm not going to go into because I want to keep this video short and one really cool thing you can do for those who like to make logos and things is you can say text on a curve. So what you can do is go in here, say you create a curve like a circle. Now you can say, when you select the text again, say text on a curve, you choose that circle you made, and it wraps it around. And you can change the size of the text. Or you can shear it. And all these properties can be animated too, by the way. Okay, scroll down here. You also have alignment, justification. You have vertical alignment, center, top. Okay, so that pushes it inside. Center pushes it inside. Bottom, outside. Top pushes it all the way in. So the top is aligned with, this, with the curve. So you can see if I... If I scale this curve up, right, you see that it's now sitting inside the curve, right, where that sits outside the curve. Now you have spacing. So if you want to change the font, you just go in here and click and go to where the fonts are. And then you just choose any, any font you want. And you are now using that font. And then whenever whatever is loaded here, you can change back, but you have to load them. They're not they're not there by default. Okay, so this gives you quite a bit of power and control over just bringing in fonts. And like every other curve, like these things render. So that's about it for this video. There's quite a bit more that you can play with in here, but I recommend just going in here and getting a feel for how this works. If this is something that you'd want to use, uh, it's there and it's pretty powerful. All right. So if you liked this video and you learned something and you got something out of it, definitely hit like, subscribe, hit the little bell notification so you get notified when I create more videos and I will see you in the next video. Thanks.